gonna need two balloons for your horse balloon. First balloon is, will form the mane. Just blow this up, inflate it, and you don't really need it inflated uh, very far. It is not crucial for the mane to be inflated to a certain distance, so just be generous there. Second balloon will form the body of the horse, and you want uh, on the end maybe two or three inches, let's say three inches here, and we're gonna start at the nozzle end. Now you're gonna make two tiny pinch twists, which start as basic twists. Now normally when you make a basic twist, if you're new to balloons, you pinch and then you twist. But in this case, we're gonna have to make this basic twist very small, which will, and then convert it into a pinch twist. So it's important that in order to make a very small twist, I have to actually put a little pressure on it like this as I pinch here and twist. So let me show you what that looks like to make a very small basic twist. That's a tiny basic twist that's smaller than the diameter of the balloon. Now notice I'm holding it here. If I don't hold it, it's gonna come undone. Now I'll hold it with my right hand. We're gonna take the nozzle and wrap it into the twist right here, kind of bending it on itself. And this will allow us to create the pinch twist. So kind of bend it together, nozzle into the twist here. Now it helps if you pull up on the basic twist and then do the twist. And there you have it, one pinch twist. And we're gonna do one more. So remember to put the pressure with this hand, pinch and twist. And fold it. This is more conventional uh, pinch twist. You're going to pull up and then twist. It helps if you pull up. If you try and do this right here, it's very hard to twist, but if you pull up, it gives you a little more slack. Let me show you that. And you have a mouth for your horse. Now let's make a head, maybe about that long for a horse head. Two small basic twists, just as we did here, but we're gonna keep them basic twists. So let's do two small basic twists. We're gonna form a lock twist. So hold it together like this, hold it with the left hand, the entire thing, and now twist these together for a lock. And there you have a horse's head. Now all we have to do is make the body and the body's pretty much like making a dog body. So make a neck, remember to pinch and twist. Let's give it a leg. Usually the horses have long legs. Notice how I'm holding right here. If I let go of this hand here, it's going to come undone. So we'll make a leg here. Fold. We're going to do this the fast way. We're going to just fold it and then pinch and twist right here to make it in one motion. And you can see the front of our horse, small body. We're going to match the back legs. Right there, just as we do with the dog. Fold it, hold it, and twist. And there you have a horse, and you can hand it out just like this. Kids will love it. If you like, you can kind of bend this down. If you have a little more length, you can bend this down to kind of evoke a horse's tail, and uh, that is a horse right there. But we're gonna add one more detail with the horse, with our other balloon. So let's get that out. So balloon number two, we're gonna take the nozzle and we're gonna place it right here into the ears. So just wrap this around. There you go, and we're gonna make a mane. So what we're gonna do is three tiny basic twists. 
Just as we did earlier, I'm putting pressure here to make these as small as possible. Now with the three, we're going to wrap this around the body and legs. And same thing on the other side, three small basic twists. Notice I'm holding, and now twist this into the ears. And you can see the horse farming. Let's get some scissors now because we need to remove this end here. Now, scissors are normally the enemy of the balloon. Normally, if I was just trying to remove this end, which I can, I can, uh, then I can uh, just wrap this up, tie it up, and then we'd be done with our horse. But let's add a couple more details. So what I'm gonna do here is something a little different. I'm gonna squeeze here, because what I want this is to be very soft, to have some slack here. See how I pushed all the air to the end right there? Now, if I cut right here, I'm not gonna get that pop. In fact, I'll just let this deflate. Let this deflate. Notice I had to hold it so it didn't deflate on its own. All I do is wrap this around the horse's ear and neck. And you get a horse with a mane and lips. Now, if you want, you can take this and make a red tail that matches the mane. So I'll show you a little bit how to do that. Let's get my pump. Pump. So I've inflated the remaining balloon a little bit. And let's tie it off. Here's how I tie the balloons. I wrap it around the two fingers, grab it between the two fingers and pull this over. Now what I wanna do is just kind of make this nice and soft. In fact, we'll push all the air towards the other end here. So if I want a longer horse tail, I can uh, make it this color and uh, let's see, let's just make it about that long. If I twist it, now I'm gonna cut off the rest of this balloon. Tie the knot. At this point, if you like, you can remove this tail and then insert this here. And it's a little more work, but it'll give you a cooler looking horse. Tied it. Now we'll take our second tail here. And there you get a horse with a tail. One more thing, it's easy to turn this into a unicorn. So you take another balloon, you probably don't want orange here, it just happened to be what I had around here. But all you do is take an end of a balloon and cut it. Now take this pump, and what you want to do is just put enough air into the balloon so it has body. You don't want it to be fully inflated, just enough to have some body. Hold it. 
tie a knot. And you create a little horn. And then all you have to do, all you have to do is insert this horn into here. And your horse becomes a unicorn.